I don't charge much for interviews, so you guys are all right. Just, that's all right. Well, just talk about your overall impression today. What do you say? Uh, just like every year we come here, you see players that are coached well, and they, they're in pretty good shape, and they work out hard. It's just another look from what we had seen during the year in, in film and in, in games and stuff like that. So it's always a good visit, and it's always a good uh, workout here. What are you watching for most when you watch this play? Probably more athletic ability more than anything. Obviously, they're not doing anything football-wise, so you're looking more at their movement skills, ball skills that you don't always see. Sometimes that you don't see secondary guys playing the ball a lot in the air. You don't get the opportunity. Uh, linebackers doing the same thing. Receivers catching different routes and stuff like that. It's all uh, more athletic stuff than it is football, really. Is there anybody that stood out today? Well, yeah, I can't tell you all of that. <laughs> Those, they all had a good workout, I'll say that, yeah. You know, it, it's hard to make a big jump because, again, they're not doing football stuff. It's almost like when you're at the combine, you go out there and these guys run around in shorts and T-shirts, and then people are falling in love with people. And, you know, they're not really playing football. They're athletic events is what they are. And, you know, some people can move up because they do work out pretty good and, and they run faster than you think they were and everything else. But you still have to play the game to be, you know, graded the way we grade them. Sometimes it would be uh, depending on, you know, the philosophy that your head coach has. You know, sometimes they don't want to get a guy that's 25, 26, 27 years old coming into the league. Uh, they would rather have a young guy that's a little bit younger, obviously, for uh, development purposes. Yeah, I, I, I hesitate to say that because if a guy can play, I mean, you're not, you're not going to not take the guy because he's four years older than someone else, I think, because – you know, the, exp uh, the life expectancy is probably, what, five, six years for a player in our league. So I wouldn't say that, but you'd like to have them younger. But, you know, we've, we've taken players that were older, obviously, than normal, uh, normal age kids in college. How many of these do you think? Well, we have all of our scouts. And just like most teams, we have all of our scouts all, all over the country. But I'd say on the average, probably during the spring and month of March and April now, probably 20 or 21. No, this is great. This this is really good because it gives us a chance really to visit with a player and talk to him that you don't get to do during the season. Uh, so you get a little bit better feel for the kid. And your coaches, you know, are more willing to talk to you because they're not coaching them and everything else that they have to schedule they've got to live with. So the, the pro days are really fun, and I think they're really more informative for us than people realize. How does BYU, BYU has this organized kind of set up? Where does that kind of it's just like all uh, right now it's been they've been through this drill so many times that everybody knows kind of what you want to do and they they go through the scouts a lot of times to you know hey how do you want to run this which way do you want to do it now some people have a definite plan they want to do and the kids want to work it a certain way but for the most part all the schools do a great job of setting it up and, and organizing it that flows pretty smooth